Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Gold Rush Football uh, autographed jerseys. Three boxes, half a case, random letter break number one from a fresh case right here. So we're going to go by the first letter of their first name. So DK Metcalf goes to the letter D, Kyler Murray goes to K. Any and all multiplayer signed jerseys go to the multi-signed jersey spot. There you go. That's pretty cool. You can get the perfect season multi-jersey, Super Bowl champions multi-jersey, quarterbacks of the century, triplets. It's actually, that's actually really cool. So, there you go. All right. And we can play a few quick rounds of Who Am I? But let's randomize you a letter first. Big thanks to these folks here. There are the letters right there, plus the multi-jersey spot. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a three, nine times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Kurt down to Tyler. Six and a three, once again, nine times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time. After nine, we've got L down T. All right, so Kurt with the letter L, Deborah with K, Logan with D, Tyler with N-O-P, looks like New Orleans Pelicans there, Jarrell with F, E and F, Aaron with any of the multi-signed jersey spots, Tyler with G plus H, Sean Maddock with R, Nicholas with B, Dan with A, Isaac with C, Nicholas S with S, Nicholas L with J, Aaron with V plus W, uh, Karen with M and Tyler with T. So if we pull a Tyler Brenner, it'll go to Tyler. First letters of their first name. So let's sort by column B. Let's box these up. And while you're considering what you, what you could possibly get with those letters, let's pop open that case and see which three we're gonna do. So you can see on the top camera, I'm gonna open up this So we're going to go one, two, three on the dice roll for the top three, and four, five, six for the bottom three. And that'll do on this main camera right over here. I'm going to use that die. And it's one. So it's going to be the top three. Right here. And these we'll do for break two, which is already on the website, folks. So I don't know if you can kind of see, but on the top camera, I wrote RL upside down, RL2. So for random letter break number two. I guess we'll leave these here. I'm sure we'll be able to get to that a little bit later tonight. And I'm going to put these back here now. As a sort of staging area. All right. Looks like no trades. So let's close up the trade window. TWC trade window closed. Let's print and rip.
put the names on these? I guess on the back? Uh, I just have to figure it out from the back, huh? Figure this guy out from the from the, from the back. All right, who am I? Let's see, I am an active quarterback in the NFL. Played for two teams my entire career, and was a second round pick. Two teams my entire career. I'm a Super Bowl champ. I'm a Super Bowl MVP. I'm a 13 time Pro Bowler. I'm a first-team All-Pro, a four-team second-team All-Pro, uh, a two-time NFL Offensive Player of the Year. There's just too many awards for this guy. Comeback Player of the Year, NFL Passing Yards Leader, Touchdowns Leader, Passer Rating Leader twice, seven-time Passing Yards Leader, four-time Touchdown Leader, two-time Passer Rating Leader, six-time Completion Percentage Leader. Man, it's got a lot of awards. NFL Records, Most Career Passing Yards. Most career pass touch completions, most career touchdown passes, highest career completion percentage, highest single season completion percentage, most consecutive games with a touchdown pass, most career pass attempts, completions in a season, most 5,000 yard seasons, highest completion, completion percentage in a game, most touchdown tied for the most touchdown passes in a game. I've got Nick Foles, 77,888 passing yards and 550 touchdowns. Wow. So, yeah. Sean Jaspi guessed it in the background. And then Wester and Ray Rice also guessed it. The Beckett card covering the autograph. I'm going to leave it folded nicely in here. But, yes, it is Drew Brees. There's his autograph right there. Good-looking auto. You got the Beckett sticker. Drew Brees has his own sticker, too. There's Brees right there. <laughs> Not good enough to be a Charger anymore. It's either that or the Chargers organization too dumb. Too d Although they had Phillip Rivers for like 14 seasons, so. That's true. Phillip Rivers did not win a Super Bowl or a Super Bowl MVP. All right, letter D. That is for Logan Collister. There you go, Logan. Logan with the D for Drew here on the 25th. To Logan Collister, and that was random letter break number one. There. All right, next one. Who am I? Wait, hold on. It's not that person. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. 
That tripped me out. All right, I'm ready. Who am I? I am an active tight end in the NFL. 22 years old, played for one team my entire career, and I'm a college football national champion in 2019. I'm currently on the IR. Not OJ Howard. He's not 22. Uh, went to high school in Charlotte, North Carolina at Mallard Creek High School. That's like a duck, isn't it? A mallard. I went undrafted in 2020, but was picked up by the Washington football team. Yes, Sam Rail and Adam and, and Ron's got it. It's Thaddeus Moss. Randy's, here's why I was confused. Here's why I was confused. I looked at this, and I saw Moss and purple, right? So I was like, oh, Randy Moss, right? But then I was just like, wait a second. Randy Moss Vikings, and I'm usually I'm not good with numbers, but Randy Moss Vikings 81 didn't seem familiar. It was actually 84 when he was on the Vikings. But then that doesn't look like an R for Randy Moss. That's on his autograph. All right. So then I was like, oh, wait a second. That's Thaddeus Moss in his LSU gear, which has very similar colors to the Vikings. Nice. So there you go. Randy's kid, Thaddeus Moss. There's the Beckett sticker, the Beckett card on the back. I think we, this is a custom jersey, but it still has that sort of L, that LSU trim right there too, which is pretty cool. And there you go, letter T. That is for Tyler Brenner with letter T. That's random letter break number one right here. Break number two in the store, folks. The third and final one. Third and final one. Well, it's kind of hard. I'm just going to show you this one. It's a multi autograph. We can't play Who Am I with four different people. There you go. It's the Purple People Eaters. Nice. So I don't know who all the purple people eaters are. Here's the JSA right here. All right, so I think you sh we should be able to look that up. Isn't there a way I can look up the JSA number? Oh, yeah, there it is. JSA CC 10650. No, do they not need the JSA with the CC 01650? Signer, the purple people eaters, all right? All right, Purple People Eaters, Wikipedia. So first of all, this goes to who got the multi-sign spot? Aaron Pettit with the multi-sign spot. John Randall, Alan Page, John uh, Robert Ives remembers. It's, yeah, defensive tackle Alan Page, nine-time Pro Bowler. Defensive end Carl Eller, that's right, six-time Pro Bowler. Defensive end Jim Marshall, two-time Pro Bowl selectee. Defensive tackle Gary Larson, right there. I don't think John Randall was part of this crew. Marshall, Larson, Eller, and Page. 
right? The Purple People Eater. The, the group was a major factor in the postseason success of the Vikings in the 60s and 70s. Uh, one of the most identifiable front fours, along with the fearsome foursome of the Rams. There's Marshall right there. Uh, the Steel Curtain of the Steelers, obviously. And the New York Sack Exchange of the New York Jets in the 80s. I don't think I've ever heard that. I kind of like that. The New York Sack Exchange. There's his autograph right there. There's Paige, and there's Eller. And it says Purple People Eaters right there. That's pretty awesome. Nice. So congrats to uh, Aaron Pettit with four legendary odd. Are they all in the Hall of Fame? Maybe? I don't know. Alan Page? Hall of Fame. Carl Eller, Hall of Fame. Wait, I lost the Wikipedia page. Where'd you go? Jim Marshall, not a Hall of Famer. And Gary Larson, not a Hall of Famer. Right, two of the four is not bad, and then the other two are really, really good. So there you have it, the Purple People Eaters. And there you go. Congrats to you, Aaron Pettit. Thank you very much for getting in. That was random letter break number one. We've got three more jerseys from that case on the website right now, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.